All right, everybody out in YouTube land, this is uh, Lawbench191. Um, I thought I would give you an update to our club, let you see all the scenery and what's going on right now. Um, I haven't covered this area too much. This is our staging area. This is where we set up all the HO trains. Uh, this is kind of a workroom in here. Over there is the in-scale staging for our in-scale layout over on that side. All our supplies and stuff, and we've got buildings and other locomotives up here people have donated. This is where our locomotives are all uh, staged. We have our staging tracks, our panel for our staging tracks. Um, we have like about three digit tracks uh, plug-in areas there for people. We also have some club throttles. Everybody brings their own throttle too. Kind of see our stuff there. I'm running a train out on the track. I'm going to get out there in just a minute. Of course, this is our right over here is our programming area. We have a uh, safety track, of course, so we don't mess up in programming. All the tracks have protect switches, as you can see. And then the tracks go out to the main lines. Okay, we got our lockers here. Club members can uh, do their stuff with their lockers. I'm gonna walk out to the main line now. Please avoid and the shakiness of my camera. I'm trying to avoid that, but okay. And I'm gonna show you where trains will come out in certain areas first. Try to walk slowly, and hopefully YouTube will take a lot of my shakiness out of my camera, which I'm not really a camera. I'm using my iPhone 5C. This is where trains come out from the staging area, right around here. They come out, come out, and switch 20, and then they come on the main line. Of course, you've seen our work on the roundhouse. Real proud of that. Our work train there. And all the uh, steam uh, facility there for all the maintenance there on the steam locomotives. As you can see the uh, roundhouse is full of steam locomotives there. So A lot of so much detail and work these guys did on this layout, it's unbelievable. I'm going to step up here. I'm going to step up. Kind of let you see all over. There's the car shop again. Many of you already seen that. We've got a little crane there. The worker on it. The neat area there. Of course, that's the wall. There's coal. Uh, build a bunker there. Our little uh, ash pit area for loading of the ashes. Our Grand Strand Western office. Several other buildings in regard to this. Okay, stepping down. Tracks go around from our main line into our yard. I'm going to walk over there. Again, my shakiness of the camera, of course. You can see the engine area there. At the side from the yard. Of course, many of you have already seen our engine facility. I don't know if this video is going to last or not because we've got an Amtrak engine in there being worked on. A lot of detail down in there, as you can see. Lights. Several different units here. 
Of course, you know are aware of our panels that were made, working our yard. Our yard out here on the layout. Full of cars. Caboose track. More of the yard trackage uh, switches. Our main panels. We have switches on, on the back of them to cut them off so that kids that want to run in trains and open house don't go and uh, push the buttons. So we, when we're switching, after we get done, we cut the main switches off on the back. There's Blue Diamond Manufacturing. Another uh, building over there you've seen. Of course, you've seen the station area. Actually, I need to put this back. I took some film and we'll just move that back. That's been added there. I just took it out a minute ago for the station area there. Just took some photos. So my Alcos, you can hear them in the background chugging along there. Of course, we now have put wiring up on the electrical wires. We also have that coal plant over there. I'm going to show you that. Of course, you've seen the uh, steel mill area. We're still doing work on it. I have not finished all that yet. A lot more to do. A lot more to do. Coke uh, place there, Coke ovens. Rolling mill. See the uh, steel. Flashy from the steel mill. Of course, the welding shop, I think y'all have seen that before. We got a little flashing going on in there. You can see it. This area they finally finished over here, did a lot of work on the old branch line came off there. A lot of detail in there. What I really hope to get to is the branch line because that's where our new area and most stuff has been done. Of course, you've seen the container yard with all the containers. The container, our container crane does work. So, that's neat bringing container trains in and out. Power lines. Barge here. Of course, you've seen that barge. We've still got a tug to put in there. Kind of back off so you can kind of see what the barge area looks like. That barge in there going in there. We switch in and out of there. This is really neat. Uh, I don't know if you can get a picture down in there. You can kind of see it's a power plant. The guy put all these LEDs in there. See the little guys on the crane in there. Just incredible. That's the two of the uh, northern uh, power and light exposure building. They're put together. Look at the blue LEDs in there. Incredible work. The uh, power wires there. Really nice work. Really, really nice work. Um, Terry uh, in our club did that. It's just amazing. I'm so amazed at his work in this. Of course, there's this coal dump area where it's being shuttled into the plant. We'll bring down hoppers from the coal mine to work that. Kind of see the guy on the bulldozer up there. Got some other things going on over here with rock. That plant is just awesome. Of course, the line comes down. We've got the tunnels in now. This is going up the branch line tunnel. I'm going to kind of show you some of the work on the branch line. This has been going on. You can kind of see this area over here. They've really done a lot of work on it. Love this little stoop area, watch area they've got over here. They've just put all that in. Uh, I think there's a bear. See him right there. Uh, also, uh, logging area there. Log uh, flats there. They'll come down. All the uh, trees they put up on that mountain now. Kind of reminds me of the Cass area there. Up there on top of the hill, you can see that bulldozer. This building is not finished yet. They still got to do a little bit of work on this uh, basically scrapyard area here. They're working on that. 
this is really nice here. This is the shanty buildings for the uh, workers for the coal mine and otherwise. They even got the little antenna on there. One of our guys did that. Joe Maddock did that. And it's reminiscent, of course, as you know, the little uh, towns, the uh, mining towns that had these little shanty buildings. Really nice stuff. Really good stuff. Nice the way it's done. Uh, can't wait to get all this finished up here. Water tower. And of course, the coal uh, tower there. That's where our reverse and loop comes in. Here's the panel again for the branch line. We've got one on the other side where the coal mine is. You can get an idea of that. Have a reverse and loop in there. Trains come up here, come through here. Got this great little building over here. The guys did. So proud of this thing. The guys did just a tremendous job on this little house there. The hillbilly house. Nice detail work. Nice scenery work all along the side. They've done all that. I think last time I did a video None of this was done, and now it's all done. You can kind of scan down there and see the branch line. I love just running the branch line. We've got an outhouse there. Look at that. You see the guy in the outhouse? That's kind of neat. Uh, we had some animals in the forest there. I don't know. Can't see them. But anyway, a lot of detail, rock detail, trees, fallen trees. It's really amazing what the guys have done. I'm just really... I wish I had that talent. I really do. I don't have that talent. I like to paint locomotives, but I just don't have the scenery talent. Of course, you know about the bridge. Yeah, this bridge is unreal. I have this guy that did this has a lot more patience than I do, of course. This bridge was on our old layout. Many of you might have seen some videos. Uh, this was the old Cherokee Ridge Bridge, and it was redone. You're seeing uh, Moose Jules Brewery over there. That's completed now. Got the brewery area in there. Got some log cars. We've got the, uh, how about that? We've got the lumber mill over there in. And that lifts out. Got the water in there. Uh, throwing the, you can see the log cars and they're unloading the uh, logs in there. More scenery here, just the waterfall. You can see the guys on the rocks climbing the rocks. Just little things in this layout that's so amazing. Uh, the little rocks there. Trees, uh, the guys put the trees falling, whatever. It's amazing. And of course, uh, this tells about this uh, trestle, which is really, really neat. So much little stuff they put in there on the scenery. There's, uh, if you look down in there, um, there it is. There's a deer there, okay? Great stuff. Um, and here's my uh, Alco coming across. Just got this Alco with the loop sound, and I got a U25 uh, C in there and a U36 C. And they're coming around with a little coal load there, Norfolk and Western coal hoppers. Love the sound of that unit. That lugging sound that the G's and the Alcos made. Little scratch built caboose I made. Took a Santa Fe caboose. I don't, kind of similar to some of the uh, seaboard cabooses, I think. But uh, not quite a M5, but it came out nice and I like it. Scratch built that one and painted it and lettered it and all that good stuff. Anyway, more bridge area up here. You can see the this guy uh, was a Grumman engineer who did this building. He uh, was with work with Grumman for years. And then we did the log area there. Uh, a lot of little buildings still coming in there and lumber. Big lumber industry over there in Moose Jules Brewery. Um, again, more buildings coming in. As you can see, this building here, kind of trees are obstructing it, but lumber stuff there another building of course you've seen the uh, the coal mine which uh, we are uh, real proud of that coal mine so anyway check this out that's kind of the uh, lights there and the uh, coming out of the tunnel for the car of course there's more coal cars up here 